Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our Sanguifage playthrough on In the Desert, I should say. We have a few new names. Havoc, welcome aboard as our vampire, our blood sucker out here, where the sun shines the brightest. And then we also have Edgar, both joining once again, the first to comment on the first episode of the series. And thank you so much. Um, I know you are both longtime viewers. You've been with me pretty well, I think, the almost the whole last series at the very least. Um, so thank you so much. And yes, there's so many other names as well uh, that I've, I've been putting together a list again. And hopefully we can get some new recruits or some animals at the very least in the next couple of episodes here. And we can all join in. In the meantime, we are working on closing off our little little structure here. Um, so, some some things things to do there. Um, obviously, we're still in that fun early stage where our construction skills are not great, so we're kind of botching, uh, wasting some of these bricks. But um, hopefully, we'll get there, and this door will be critical. There we go. Uh, eating some of that pemmican food is potentially going to be a little bit of a pain. We still have a couple days worth of pack and survival meals and uh, we're getting a bit of a defense going. I might end up making a little bit more of a traditional kill box. We'll see how things go with this particular series. Um, I do have the difficulty turned up a little bit and eventually you do need to do that so since it looks like you'll be here for a while edgar thinks you should give your faction a name um i don't know that is a great question um well we have a settlement name let's just do some randomizing um i like gardener's brook as a settlement and I don't know. Let's just sure now. <laughs> Good enough. Nice. We're going to get that done. And honestly, we could just close that up and actually make this a nice indoor space. Um, Havoc also needs to have the indoors be indoors. And I suppose next steps um we do need an actual fridge and kitchen area so i think like why don't we just work on that um we could do something like this maybe this is really making another bedroom kind of shape but um that's okay might as well make an extra bedroom for now. And really this is an opportunity to be a nice dining room, um, which means a logical kitchen area is over here. So let's actually sort of uh, re reshape this. We'll build a copy and then reinstall so we can have two people eating. We can also get um, some power going. So the nice thing is we have all this sand out here, which gives us plenty of room for wind turbines. Nice. All right. Um, we'll do one wind turbine for now. I'm trying to decide which way would be the best. We can't build on, on this lighter color sand you can see out here. It has to be on this stuff. Um, so maybe I could fit a couple if I did it that way. So we'll, we'll do one there for now. And then we will also, I guess for now we don't have um, <clears throat> a battery, uh, but we can get a little research going. Um, we'll make a simple research bench. And I mean, for now we can just put it right there. Uh, 
Sure. Even. I'm going to start shaping out this base a little bit. Start moving things around. I'm sorry if the commentary is a little, uh, little light today, a little slow. I'm filming a little bit later than I normally am, and just a, I'm just a little tired. But I'm excited for this series. I'm excited for the the challenge, and I'm excited to see this combat extended piece. So we just did discover last time that the shield was a problem, and I don't even know where that shield got to. Um, that I had, I just dropped it. Did I leave it out here somewhere? Um, or did we end up picking that up? We did pick it back up. So uh, let's drop this ballistic shield and maybe for maybe we'll get uh, Edgar to use it because um, Edgar currently does not have a weapon. Um, so that is something we can consider. And uh, the the comment made by by Havoc in the in the comments was that the longsword is a two-hander in this mod or probably in default anyways but um the shield does not work with the longsword so that was our problem last time and i think we also need to consider getting some ranged weaponry um sooner than later because i think guns and things like that are very very powerful well speaking of um okay this is a simple guy with knife scenario so for now let's just prioritize building and we can hopefully <clears throat> just convert this immediate raid into um into a prisoner so what we're going to actually do with this little area is we're going to make this into a prison. Oh my goodness, Havoc. You need to finish that job. Don't mess it up. Thank you. And furniture. Um, do we want to make a steel bed for now? We're using up a lot of steel, but that's fine. It's normal. This is awful. So... Um, We'll set this for Havoc. This is also awful. We'll set this uh, for Edgar for now, and we'll set this one will be for prisoners. Um, the first to sell there, because it's the, the shortest distance. Um, the nice thing about playing a Sanguifage, I have not played um, too much of the Sanguifage, haven't gotten very far. Um, where are we going? This seems like a really uh, bad, um, yeah, that was a really bad way to attack. Uh, that's not, I mean, that's fantastic for us that for whatever reason they want to pass over here. Um, we'll take that as a win. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, Let's look at our friend. Death in five hours. We have this mega spider. Um, honestly, the mega spider just got stabbed once. Um, the mega scarab is, this one is actually uh, gonna die. This one's fine. Um, it is a little concerning to have these so close to the base. I'm potentially considering I mean, this might be suicidal. Sending Havoc up there, using some of his Sanguifage powers to just chop up this Mega Spider. Um, might be suicidal. But anyways, let's actually look at some of these systems uh, now that I see this tutorial up here. So, um, combat extended. We have a new armor system. So there's a penetration-based model. So we are not just uh, doing that percentage thing anymore. Attacks that have less armor pen than the armor value are either deflected or fully mitigated. However, armor value lowers, then the armor penetration will reduce damage based on the armor ratio. Okay, yeah. So you'll block a decent amount. Um, okay. So it's just like an armor rating system that just lowers damage. Um, and you can completely mitigate damage, which makes sense. Block sharp damage is always turned into blunt damage and checked against blunt armor rating. Okay, so that, that you still take like impact, which makes sense, you know, getting shot, even if you have a, a nice plate carrier, you're still going to feel like you're getting punched. Um, 
The amount of blunt damage depends on the attack, so base blunt penetration, and the pre-deflection or meaning sharp penetration. Okay, so there's like an additive feature. So, you know, armor, more armor is better. Um, okay, fire electricity has no pe penetration and is simply reduced by the percent of armor. Okay. The new aiming system, new physics-based projectile system. So they follow a ballistic flight path and use hitboxes. Okay. Interesting. So in darkness. Okay. So we actually, I wonder if our particular ideologian, which we prefer darkness, would give us a, ben a benefit. Um, maybe we'll be better at fighting in the dark, which would be cool. Um, shooter has to lead a moving target. Okay. Range. We need to com correctly estimate range. Sway. So there's uh, sway reduced by aim shot mode. Okay. There's recoil. So uh, consecutive shots in a burst become less accurate. So I'm assuming like the first projectile is the most accurate and every sec subsequent bullet has less accuracy. Um, there's weapon spread. There's a cone. So shotguns. I did also hear in the comments that shotguns are incredibly powerful early on, probably because they have low armor penetration, but they are, are going to do great against some of these early game enemies that aren't wearing any armor. Um, body size, etc., etc. Okay, yeah, that's fun. Um, certain clothings are bulky and will hinder them in their daily tasks. Okay, so things like armor and uh, certain clothing. So you, you, oh, so for our workers, we might consider not equipping them in armor just all the time, so that they are better at uh, working. Shields provide protection against melee. Um, you can't use two-handed weapons, regular and ballistic shields. Okay. Large and cumbersome. Pe melee and range penalty, but they cover the entire head area and be crouched behind, protect most of the legs. Don't make you invincible. Okay. Um, and stabilizing injury. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can have... Uh, Stabilize, you know, right. You can keep medicine like in your in your loadout. Um, interestingly enough, I also get the ability to heal others uh, as a sanguifage, and sanguifage are deathless as well, which might make it a little easier for this particular uh, playthrough. So, um, interestingly enough, I don't think we have anyone who is capable of building a turbine. Um, oh, no, it, it, it does need four. Oh, it's outside of the allowable area. Hilarious. Um, we'll just fix that real quick. We will also reinstall this. Uh, I like it there better. So we're going to prioritize that. Get that installed up there. And for our very first research task, I think we want... I mean, the solar might be nice for a nice even amount of electricity, but we probably want to consider getting something like batteries, right? We want to work towards batteries so we can store the power from our, our turbines. Um, so I think that makes sense as well. Uh, we actually already have an eight. Let's get the firefighting patient up. Just put these all up and then everything else will, will be low for now. Everybody can do everything. That research is coming along very nicely already. In terms of our security, um, barbed wire, I kind of like that. Do we want just like a row of barbed wire? Maybe, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Put, a, put some installments or some sandbags or something back here. We might do a little bit of a gate system um, I think it'll be it'll be cool. All right, Havoc is researching. Edgar is sleeping. This prison bed is, uh, you know, never to be used. Reichgard, you are to be spider food. Next, we need to consider things like cold storage. I'm trying to think. About, I mean. This might actually be a logical area to do cold storage because we want to be able and, and just sort of like move my kitchen. Um, the main thing I have is I want 
I want my food to be, um, I'm, I'm just going to keep, keep harvesting away at these insides, kind of squaring everything up a little bit. Hopefully we don't drop the, the roof on us. That's, that's something to be avoided, right? Um, I, I want to think about venting because I don't care about trapping any heat. Last time when we were playing on the tundra, we actually, you know, reclaimed some of the heat from our, uh, our fridge to, to kind of heat up the base. Um, it's actually just like a nice, comfortable 20 degrees inside this mountain right now. Um, and we are, you know, we're happy with that. Um, we're also not super excited about the food. We're getting pretty low and we actually don't have any way to cook just yet, but we are gonna work on that. So I'm deciding for now, um, Havoc who's researching here, almost done. Let's prioritize that. Let's mine out a chunk here get Havoc to get that going as soon as we're done building, get the power, um, temperature, beautiful, absolutely perfect. We're gonna get that cooler built. Prioritize the cooler, please, thank you. And then you're gonna prioritize the door. And we're just gonna get that, that done as best we can. Um, I don't know why we, your construction still skills too low. So the cooler requires five and, uh, we're not quite there yet. We're getting there though. We're actually, we're actually not doing too bad. If we just build a little bit more, um, more slate walls, uh, we can, we can get there. So maybe we'll even just do a nice, um, defensive gate. This is a very classic gate. It's going to slow people down. They'll come from both sides here. And then uh, that will work towards building up Havoc's construction. We also make sure that is in there. Um, let's send Havoc down. L little micromanaging at the very beginning. And this is all enclosed pretty well. Not too bad there. We're feeling all right about that. Havoc is still researching. Um, Havoc really needs to, let's actually manually do this and we'll say, you need to actually prioritize building. We need you on the building mission. Beautiful. Oh, and yeah, after this wall, I don't know if we'll quite, quite be there. Um, we have a little bit more to do, so we might consider doing a little bit more building. Um, maybe actually flesh out more of our internal here. Um, perfect, Edgar's moving that. Let's get, in terms of a structure, let's line that those doors up. We can even get this mined out. We could even Consider getting this lined up. Um, this would potentially be a doorway into a hall. But I like the idea of doing that. Maybe even for now, we'll do that. Um, and we could put the doorway here. Um, and we can divide. I mean, we're going to have this for now be some sort of dining room area um and we'll, we'll go from there and i think we'll just make maybe the dining room area actually over here more um this is still sort of like an entry at least for now dining room slash recreation nice and close uh for everybody to access additional bedrooms up here kind of centered around our food and then we'll spread out into like production and things off into uh, the wings or these tunnels. Um, obviously Edgar is now helping, which is not going to uh, increase 
Havoc construction. So I almost want to restrict Havoc, but I think we just need to get stuff built as well. Um, we'll get an electric stove in here for now, even though it'll be technically outside. And then we can uh, keep it going from there. We also need additional slate, which down here is the thing. So we need to allow, uh, we'll allow Edgar to go out and grab that. Havoc is mostly capable here. And we have construction five, which is huge because that's going to let us build the cooler. And with with that done, uh, I think we might call it an episode. We're building our our wall. We have a cooler uh, first raid heroically defended by uh, our friend Mega Spider. And we have a couple of dromedary, which we might even consider um, either turning into dinner or uh, taming. Who knows? They are eating our rice, which means, you know, we need to eat them. They're eating our food, so they become our food. As always, though, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the comments, the thumbs up. I definitely appreciate all that engagement. And even if you just want to, like, leave a comment of, like, hooray, let's go. Um, as some of you have already done, it does boost the engagement and helps build up the excitement for the series. Um, the algorithm, it doesn't love long form let's plays but i know a lot of you are here because that's you kind of enjoy just the chill journey that we play through together so um it, it does just help me helps grow the channel a little bit and and gets more eyes on my stuff so any of that kind of basic youtube stuff helps but i this is a hobby for me i, I don't rely on this for a, a paycheck or anything like that um it's just it's it is nice um so yeah Consider doing what you can, but by no means, there's no obligation. And as always, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.